hi everyone and welcome to the channel today in this video i will tell you how to update picklist multi-select values in salesforce using the data loader tool and before that i would like to tell you about our newly launched salesforce admin course so first let me show you the course content then we will carry on this topic so this is the salesforce admin course and we have posted it on our website and i will also post the link for this course in the description from where you can access this course so these are the modules that we have covered in this course so it's a beginner to advanced level salesforce course and it, there are nine plus modules and 20 plus hours hd video and you will also get the pdfs and the certification after the completion and also there is an offer for 50 percent discount for the early birds so so these are the modules and the contents that you are going to get in this course and if you subscribe this course right now you have to pay only 99 dollars instead of 199 dollars so even if you are a beginner then you will understand each and everything in this course and to get this course you can redirect to our website and from there you can subscribe to this course so now let's move back to our so in salesforce we know about the picklist multi-select field where we can select so in salesforce picklist multi-select field we can select the multiple values for a field so first let me show you that with the help of an example that in what way we are going to update these values using the data loader tool so right now i have logged into my salesforce developer console and from the setup page i will navigate to the object manager and here i will show you pick list multi-select field of any object so let's take example of this opportunity object so in opportunity objects when we go to the fields and relationships we will able to see all the fields present in this object so here we have to find the pick list multi select field and here i have another pick list multi select field and i am going to use this pick list field to update values in this example so in this multi select pick list we have these values and these values are the name of products with the so with the help of data loader we are going to update the value of this pick list multi-select field so now i will take you to the opportunity setup where we can see this field so for example here i am selecting any record and here we will find the pick list multi-select field that we have seen in the opportunity fields so this is the pick list multi-select field that we are going to update for multiple opportunity records and we can update it from here also but but for that we have to go separately on each and every record and update the values of this pick list multi select field but with the help of data loader we can mass update the pick list multi select values for the multiple records so let's see the process so now to update the pick list multi select field we need the record ids of the record in which we have to update the pick list multi select field and for that it will be better to run a data export operation with the help of data loader so first we are going to run a data export operation so for that click on the export button and here i will log in with my credentials so now in this step we have to select the opportunity data object and then select the location for the extract file and after this click on the next button so now in this step we have to select the query fields so here we have selected the query fields id the multi-select picklist field that we are going to update so in this case that is product interested and for reference we can also select the name field and after selecting the query fields click on the finish button and here click yes to proceed uh, so now the data is extracted in a csv file and to view that data click on this button view extraction and here again click on open in external program so in the extracted data you can see the values of the pick list multi select field and these are the name of opportunities in which this field is existing so i will update this blank field with the pick list multi select values that we are having in the with the available values in the field i will just copy it from here and paste it some of the records and you can also remove the values from here but make sure the value should be uh, divided with the semicolon after adding and removing the values of this pick list multi-select field uh, save this file from where it can be accessed to the data loader and here i will close the previous data export operation and this time we will click on the update button and here select the data object opportunity and then select the csv file that we have created or saved right now 
and after selecting the csv file click on the next button so now the data loader will initialize the uploaded csv file and display the number of rows that are in the csv file here click on the ok button to proceed in this window we have to create the mapping between the header columns and the data object fields so for that click on the button create or edit a map so now in the mapping dialog window we have to map the object field to the header columns for that click on the button auto match field to columns and in case they are not automated then you have to drag the salesforce object field down to the column mapping and after mapping click on the ok button and click next and at last click on the finish button and as you click on the finish button this warning message will appear regarding the data update operation here click on the yes button to proceed so now the data update process is started and we can see the number of success and errors that we are getting in this data operation and after its completion we can see the number of success and errors that are occurred in this data operation and to view the status of the updated records we can click on the button view successes and here you can see and in the csv file viewer of the data loader we can see the status as that as item updated that means we have successfully updated the pick list multi select values of these opportunity records so in this way we can mass update the pick list multi select values by using the salesforce data loader tool and i hope that you have liked this video then please do like share and subscribe us and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regular updates of our upcoming videos and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last see you in the next video till then goodbye